For Elden Ring drones, idols, and weapons, max level on PC, PlayStation, and Xbox, and up to 30% off discount this week, head over to U4GM.com and use the code CARPO for an extra 5% off. Once again, welcome back to another Elden Ring video. Today we have another cool hidden secret weapon that we're going to have to farm for in order to get. And this one is going to be really, really good. The Guardian Short Spear can be yours today. And I will show you exactly where you need to go in order to pick it up. And we'll be doing some testing too. So once again, thanks for watching everybody. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. Now, in order to pick up this weapon, we're going to have to form these Guardians right over here at the Green Owl Dragon borough area in Cali. To get there from the very first steps, head over to this direction that I'm showing you. We're going to head over right here from the Kaelin Ruins and jump over like so until you get to the Dragon Borrow Saving Grace Point and then the Dragon Borrow Fort Saving Grace Point. We're going to be starting off our adventures and farming these guys right here on the high road. So let's do this. Where we are at the Dragon Borrow Fort Saving Grace Point and we're going to head right up here where that blue light is and start farming these guys. Now what I highly suggest you do is get yourself a silver scarab. You should see a video pop up right there. That's how you can get the silver scarab. It's gonna give you plus 75 item discovery, making this form a whole lot faster, even if you have bad RNG, quote unquote. We still gonna bag this bad boy. So this is what you wanna do. You can either go on horseback or you can walk up here, it's totally up to you, and take out these guardians. They are a little bit hidden, but they are down here, and once you start attacking them, they're gonna come out and play. So, take these guys out, and like I said, hopefully with a little bit of orange Jesus, you can get this weapon. Now, do avoid that poison mist, because it can take you out if you stand in it. FYI. Bam, there it is, <laughs> we got it. We have ourselves the Guardian Sword Spear. Now, let's have a look at this bad boy. Now, you do need a strength of 17, dexterity of 16 in order to wield the special ability called Spinning Slash. Now, this is a Halter Bird weapon, which means your Spinning Slash is gonna have a giant wide arcing of that Spinning Slash, which is really, really good. And on top of that, you can put Ashes of War on here, which is awesome, and this is where this weapon shines. In my opinion, I'll show you what I'll be using to make this really, really good. But for right now, we're going to use a little bit of sword flame because guess what? You can put magic armaments on this bad boy. Yep. So we're right here at the gate front and we're going to be testing out this spinning slash against some of these enemies. See if they can break through our animation. See how good it is as far as damage is concerned. We can break through their shields and it's good look you can get broken out of your animation when you first start it off but once it starts going it's a wrap you can complete that spinning slash without interruption which is really really good so all in all it's doing work even if the guys have their shields out you're still going to be damaging them with that wide arc and here we are at the mountaintops of the giants against this troll giant and we're going to take this guy out with our lovely blood flame on the spinning slashing polymer weapon and it's good right it's not super fantastic but the damage is decent okay i'm not gonna lie to you i don't if i say it's awesome it's awesome if it's amazing it's amazing and this one it's amazing but this is not where it shines where it shines at is putting on ashes of war and using it to whatever builds you got. Me, I'm using a blood build, so I'm gonna be using a couple talisman to bring out the blood in enemies, and I'm gonna be using a different Ash of War on this bad boy to get the damage out. But as far as putting different armaments on here, it still does the job, and it's pretty good. But like I said, where it shines at is this Phantom Slash. See a video pop up right here. That's how you can get the Phantom Slash Ash of War. Put a little blood affinity on that bad boy and ba bam Just like that, the damage is just wow. So OP. Yeah, it's really good. Highly suggest you check it out with the Ash of War on there. Phantom Flash or another one that you like. And all of a sudden, it turns into an amazing Alderbird weapon. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you're going to farm to get this weapon. I showed you where to pick it up. Now all you have to do is get out there, farm it, and have some fun today.
But for right now, that's pretty much going to for the video. I hope you truly enjoyed it. As always, if you are new to the channel, how you doing and welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. Right here at Carpool Gamer, upload a wide variety of videos ranging from updates, tips and tricks, guides and news, and a whole lot more. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Once again, thank you everybody for all your love and support. Hope you have a wonderful day. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one.